friends, I have another story to share with you. This is the magic school bus flies from the nest. I don't know if you've noticed that there are lots of birds flying out around right now. In our backyard we have some um, a bird's nest. I know at least one of them in a tree and I keep seeing a robin um, fly back and forth to the nest. Um, so I think she, there's some babies in her nest. The magic school bus, and it's a scholastic reader. Okay, here we go. It's fun to be in Miss Frizzle's class. Her dress is wacky, her shoes are wacky too. And she's speaking and she's saying, even our bus is wacky. It's the magic school bus. Notice her dress. What do you see all over her dress? What, what, uh, can you read the title of the book he's looking at? Big Birds. Do you think that's an informational text or a story? Today we are learning about birds. I wonder if that's why she wore her bird dress. Keisha and Carlos want to look at a robin's nest, but they can't find a picture. We see robins in the spring. I don't see any. And then someone wrote a little paper. It says, um, robins go south for the winter. They fly, fly back in the spring. This is called migration. Wanda looks out the window. She sees two robins fly by. Let's take a trip, said Mrs. Frizzle. Where do you think they're going to go? We get on the magic school bus and off we go. Follow those birds. The two robins fly to the town park. We go there too. Look, a nest. And down here is a fact. It says, what is a robin's nest made of by Tim? That was his question. And here's the answer to that question. The nest is made of grass, strings, twigs, and mud. It takes a lot of mud. Then the robins put more grass inside the nest to make it soft. Carlos wants to see into the nest. He climbs the tree. Oops. Oh no, Carlos is falling on the nest. The nest will break. Carlos will break. Suddenly, Carlos is getting small. He lands softly in the nest. Carlos, my book says do not disturb bird nests. Too late. The bus changes. It takes us up. Now we can go see eggs in the nest. What does the bus look like now? It's the magic school nest. Look how small Carlos is inside the nest. The mother bird sits on her eggs and keeps them warm. She sits on Carlos too. I am not an egg, said Carlos. We want to save Carlos, but we have to wait for the birds to finish nesting. We will have to wait for weeks. Time goes extra fast on Miss Frizzle's field trips. And here's a little some information. It says nesting time by Keisha. In the nest, the eggs hatch and the babies grow. This takes about four weeks. Hmm, so if, if I've got uh, birds out in my nest over there, they're gonna be in that nest for four weeks as they grow before they're ready to leave the nest. That's some information that we just learned. Inside the eggs, the babies get bigger. Two weeks later, they break out of the eggs. So how long were they inside the, those eggs? For two weeks. And now they break out. Peck, 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 peck. The babies are pink and bare. And they are hungry. The father and mother bring food. Huh, I never realized the father bird brings, brings food to the nest as well. Cheep, 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 cheep. 
And then here's a question by Ralphie. It says, what do robins eat? And the answer is this. They eat worms, bugs, and fruit, but worms are their favorite. I've noticed in my backyard after all the rain we've had that there's lots of, the ground is soft and that makes the worms come out. And so I've noticed the mama bird going and getting worms for the babies. And now I guess I just learned that the father birds get worms to the babies too. The robins try to feed Carlos too. Carlos does not like worms. Cheep, 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 cheep. And what does Carlos say? Yuck. We drop Carlos's lunch and he catches it. See what his lunch is? Cheep, cheep, cheep. And now he doesn't say yuck. He says yum. The blue robin, the big robins go to get more food. A blue jay comes to the nest. It tries to eat the baby birds. Let's scare the blue jay away. See, Carlos is scaring the blue jay away. The blue jay isn't scared of us. The mother and father come back and they chase it away. Robins fight hard to save their babies. I've been noticing a lot of birds flying around the nest back here. I'll have to watch it and see if it's a bluebird or another bird. I know we have cardinals in our backyard too. The little birds grow some soft feathers. These are called down. The, then they grow bigger feathers on their bodies. Long feathers grow on their wings. At last, it's time to fly. One by one, the young robins take off. And there's a fa some feather facts written by Carlos. It says birds are the only animals that have feathers. Without their long wing feathers, birds could not fly. One baby doesn't want to go. The mother bird chirps. The baby bird flies up, 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 up. How do birds learn to fly? They wing it. Now it's time, it's Carlos's turn. The robins chirp at him. I wish I could fly. Carlos does too. How do you think they're gonna get Carlos out of that nest? Carlos goes over the side of the nest. Then he goes down, down, down. Help! Miss Frizzle flies right under him. He lands in the magic school nest. Hi, Carlos. Thanks, everyone. I think Carlos learned his lesson about going in nests. When the bus nest lands on the ground, it changes. Now it's our old bus again. We go back to school. The birds are going back to the nest and we're going back to school. Thank goodness. It was a great trip. Now we wonder where we'll go next. Next, Can you look around the details in the pictures? What kind of dress is Miss Frizzle wearing now? What do you see over here? Look at Miss Frizzle's dress. It's a little spacey. I think they're gonna go out into space next time. I'll have to look and see if I have a space book. And there we go. The magic school bus flies from the nest. Maybe you can look around your yard if you have any trees. Or I know what I like to listen to is the birds chirping in the morning. I like to keep my window open a little bit by my bed so I can wake up and hear the birds chirping in the morning. And then sometimes I hear them at nighttime. Um, but I like to watch the birds. My husband and I sit in our backyard and we watch the birds um, fly a lot in our trees. So I love y'all. Miss ya. Bye-bye.